Hello everybody, my name is Andrew MacDonald and I am a photographer and videographer and all-round content creator from Scotland. I specialise in all things wildlife, landscape and adventure. So when the team behind the Luxury Travel Expert invited me to be part of their first ever collaboration, I was thrilled. I hope you enjoy this video as we take you to both the South Pole and the Emperor Penguin colonies. It's a really good one, so please sit back, relax and let's go to Antarctica. Good morning everybody and welcome back to a very bright Antarctica. Um, I've still got no idea how the sun has managed to go across here when it was here. So it must have come across, I don't know what the sun does here, I've got no idea what the sun does here. I'm not sure if you can see on the camera but it's got this permanent crystal halo around the sun since we got here. It's so nice, let me try and show you now. Does that even show up on the camera? Probably not. I don't think it shows up on the camera but I will show you a couple of photographs to show you what I mean. So we are up, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning and now I've had some breakfast and some coffee and it's time to get ready for the first flight towards the South Pole which is going to be a five hour flight in one of these smaller planes, I forget the name of it. A five hour flight down to 83 degrees south, a quick refuel and then a two hour flight to the South Pole. It's going to be a very tiring, very long, very exhausting day and on top of that I'm trying to capture it all in photograph and video. So wish me luck and let's go. We've uh, taken the short trip in the 4x4 vehicle across to the plane here behind me which I think is called a Basler. So this is a plane that we're going to be taking to the South Pole. We're going to do five hours, then a refuel, and then two hours to the South Pole. So let's get this party started and get on the plane. After leaving Wolfsfang and heading south, for the first 30 minutes or so you skim over mountain tops and then it really is hour upon hour of vast open ice as far as the eye can see. Well we have now arrived at 83 degrees south at the Dixie's camp which is just behind me behind the plane over here. Uh, we're going to be here for about 40 minutes before we then head on to the next stage which is about a two and a half hour flight to the South Pole. The temperature here is considerably colder than when we were back at Wolfsfang camp. This is um, about minus 20 at the moment so it's probably the coldest temperatures I've ever experienced. But yo, what a wilderness this is. Oh, so cold. Yeah, so this is where we'll be staying this evening after we return from the South Pole. And that's one of the things I've just been thinking about now is that I'm just having to remind myself that in about three hours time I'm going to be at possibly the most remote place on Earth, the South Pole. I never ever thought I would ever go to the South Pole. And here I am on a journey with my camera taking me to the very most southern point on Earth. And I'm still just trying to get my head around that fact. It's a, it's a pretty special feeling actually. Whew. Wow. This is just insane. It wasn't long before we were back in the air and admiring the vastness of Antarctica on our last leg south. Soon, if we went any further, we'd be heading north, which is a kind of strange thing to get your head around. After landing, we layered up and got ready to embrace the elements.
After a quick briefing from our guide Alesh, we headed over to the ceremonial South Pole, which displays the flags of the nations in the Antarctic Treaty. I was also sure to grab those important shots of the clients and the staff at this unique location. Ladies and gentlemen, I am officially at the geographic South Pole. Woo! <laughs> How did it feel to stand here? In short, it was fantastic, but at the same time, I felt like a fraud compared to the explorers who had come before me. Having said that, every journey is personal. The South Pole had always felt so unattainable that it was never even on my bucket lists, but as I stood here, I felt proud. I had taken a gamble all those years ago, eager to make my dreams come true. There had been many highs and lows, many doubts, so yeah, I did feel proud. Everyone's journey was different, and this was mine, but the South Pole isn't my end destination. I don't have one. So let's go onwards to the next adventure. The guests are just behind me at the geographical South Pole at the moment. Whew. It's about minus 32 degrees apparently. It doesn't feel too bad right now, but as soon as there's exposed skin, you can feel it just starting to nip with the frost. Uh, we're probably going to be here for around another hour or so, depending on how cold people get. Behind me on this side is the scientific base. All my gear is freezing up. The zoom on the camera hardly even twists around. Uh, my batteries are dying super, super fast. But yeah, I am standing at the South Pole. Absolute magic. Well, that's us now successfully back to Dixie's camp. It's about minus 22. Heading to the tent now to dump my stuff. It is about 10 o'clock in the evening. Despite the sunshine, it's 10 o'clock in the evening. Um, it's gonna be pretty chilly in the tent, but we've got nice warm sleeping bags. Whew. We'll get a few hours sleep here, and then we'll wake up and head back to Wolfsfang tomorrow morning. And then on to Witchaway camp. So I'm going to try and get some sleep and probably check you guys in the morning. Not much battery left on any of my cameras. So I'm very much looking forward to recharging all the gear. Oh, okay, it's time to try and get some sleep. And yes, that is snow right next to me. That is frost on the tent. But hopefully this sleeping bag is going to keep me nice and warm. Good night. Oh, good morning everybody. Managed to get a few minutes sleep last night I'm sure. Um, waking up feeling pretty tired but not too bad at all. And now it's time to get onto the plane. It's around about uh, maybe half past seven in the morning here now. Time to jump on the plane and head back to Wolfsfang camp. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going to pick up the vlog next, but I don't think I'm going to document too much of the flight as we've already got lots of that material going on. Oh, that is cold in the face. So yeah, we'll pick up this. So yeah, we'll pick up the vlog somewhere a little bit further north from here. Whew, it's a fresh morning. Well, after the five hour flight north, we arrived back at Wolfsfang and the temperatures here were a little bit more bearable. Uh, here we are on the back of the Skidoo, just making our way from the ski way back in towards camp. And after getting in, settling into my room, having some dinner, I noticed some beautiful golden light outside. So I headed out to grab a few shots. So the golden light actually lasts for quite a few hours here, but what I wanted to grab was those amazing cloud formations. I set up my camera, found some compositions, and here's what I captured.
Oh, that's bright. It's now probably, whoosh, I don't know, around 10 p.m. Around 10 p.m. now. Uh, and I think the plan for tomorrow is to try and go and see the penguins and we're leaving here at 10 a.m. So potential for some decent night's sleep here, but I'm probably gonna be up and about during the night, taking some photos, checking the light. I'm gonna try and unload some memory cards now, but hopefully we'll be checking up with you tomorrow and the weather's gonna be good enough to go and see some emperor penguins, which as you can imagine, is gonna be one of my highlights of this whole adventure. So I'll check you guys on the other side. Well, good morning everybody, and we are good to go for the penguins. We are gonna be leaving Wolfsfang camp here in about another half an hour's time back onto the Basler aeroplane for a two and a half hour flight and then a short trip, I think, maybe in the 4x4 or on some skidoos to the penguin colony. I am extremely excited to see these emperor penguins. Apparently it's gonna be quite windy there, so I'm not too sure how easy it's gonna to be to shoot video, but I'll definitely be there to grab some stills and just enjoy the whole experience. So let's get back on the aeroplane and go and find some penguins. Yo! Just landed here at Aka Bay, which is where the penguin colony is, and now we're just waiting for a sled to come and collect us, and then we're going to take the sled to where the penguin colony is. It's almost time to photograph some emperor penguins. While we head towards the colony, let me give you a few quick facts about these very interesting animals. So emperor penguins are the largest of the 18 species of penguin found today and they can reach up to 120 centimetres tall and weigh up to 40 kilograms. They are uniquely adapted to survive in these harsh conditions where temperatures can drop down to a bone chilling minus 50 degrees Celsius with 200 kilometre an hour winds. Because they stay here all year, they have to incubate their eggs during those long, dark winter months. But luckily for us, it's now summer and there is no darkness. The penguin colonies are normally found a few kilometers away from the ocean and that's to help keep away from predators like leopard seals and orcas. I've got no idea if you'll be able to hear this or not with a wind noise. We are at the penguins now and it's super tricky to try and film anything behind the scenes. Very difficult to shoot but I think I'm getting one or two shots out of it. Hopefully I'm going to be back here in the coming days so I can improve on the shots but I think I've got one or two really nice moments. Whew. Well, with the driving wind and blowing snow, I was actually really happy to be able to capture these penguins in the harsh environment that they live in. And here are some of my favourite shots. that note it was time for us to leave these emperor penguins in peace but as you can see from this photograph I was extremely happy with how the day had went. We jumped back onto the skidoo and it wasn't long before we arrived back to the airplane and soon we were once again soaring over the Antarctic sea ice but all I could think about was when I was coming back to photograph these penguins. Well, 
Good morning everybody and welcome back to another day in Antarctica. Uh, today I'm particularly excited because we are heading back to Aka Bay to photograph the penguins. But I'm super keen to get going, it's half past eight in the morning now, we've got a two and a half hour flight to get there. So let's get the day started. Let's go! Okay, we have now arrived at Atka Bay. The clients have just taken the skidoo towards the penguins now. We'll wait here for about 30 minutes for the skidoo to come back and then collect us. Behind me here is the basler. I cannot wait to get back to this penguin colony and get some shots. The conditions are looking great. It's slightly overcast again. There's some dappled sunshine hitting the icebergs in the distance. So yeah, I'm super keen to get there and get some more shots. Woo! It's great to be back here. Well, we've now arrived at the penguin colony, as you can see. There are literally thousands of penguins around me. The guests or clients are over there having a good time. I've come way far away from the colony because I'm trying to find individuals or at least a pair of penguins and try and isolate them against that huge iceberg in the background using the telephoto lens. Uh, I'm not so keen on photographing the groups of penguins. I'm far more interested in finding individual subjects to pick out with dramatic backdrops. So I'm going to keep shooting. It's not very easy, it's the same as last time, it's not very easy to vlog because I can't really put stuff on the ground too much. So yeah, having an absolute blast here. There's some nice sunshine coming through now to give me a bit of contrast on the images that I took last week. Magic! <laughs> The hardest part is, one, trying to see your camera screen because it's so bright today, and two, trying to figure out which penguins and which piece of interaction to try and capture. Because there's so much going on. Um, I'm trying to find some nice interaction sort of between a, maybe a mother and a chick or two chicks, but when there's so much going on, you need to keep your eyes peeled and uh, try and grab the shots when they happen. Better get back to it now. I've just taken a walk round to the other side of the colony here to try and get some different perspectives. I'm still doing what most people are not doing. Um, I'm standing a lot further away from the colony now. Let me just interrupt myself quickly to tell you a little bit about IATO and the regulations they enforce to make sure these awesome animals are kept safe. Visitors to Atka Bay must not walk between the penguins and the colony and they must also keep 30 metres distance from large groups of penguins and remain 5 metres away from individual penguins. These rules are in place because the safety and well-being of these animals are of the utmost importance. Okay, now let's get back to the adventure. Still trying to isolate some birds against the um, icebergs now and I can actually see a bunch of penguins coming back in from the sea which is far away, I can't see the sea, but I can see a bunch coming this way. So maybe if I'm quick, I can isolate a few of them against these icebergs. Yep, yep.
we've now been with the penguin colony for I don't know an hour and a half at least uh, it's now time to call it a day and head back to the Basler and then fly back to Wolfsfan camp it's once again been one of the most incredible experiences of my life to photograph these incredible animals I'll say incredible a lot because it is incredible um, so in two days time I fly back to Cape Town but I should hopefully get back to visit this colony and see how we're progressing in early January so keep an eye out for another vlog coming from there but oh this has just been fantastic now it's time sadly to head back to camp let's go after a couple of weeks back in civilization it wasn't long before I was once again touching down at Atka Bay we jumped into the piston buoy and headed towards the penguins yes we have arrived back here at Atka Bay uh, because as you can see behind me we have many 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 penguins all doing their thing and as I mentioned, I think in the last vlog from when I was here, the chicks are now a little bit older and they've all started to molt quite a lot more. There's some who are almost adult size. There's still some very small ones in amongst there. Um, as always, not a very easy place for me to do vlogs. I've got to really appreciate the fact that I might never be back here in my life. There's no real planned trip to come back to Antarctica unless I'm invited back, of course. Yeah, we're here with a bunch of clients. I'm going to make the very, very most of the time here before we head off. Because like I said, I might never be back here in my life to see this incredible sight. Such a special place. Okay, let's grab some more photographs. I know, yeah, as always, not very easy for me to vlog. So I'll try and just um, do what I can while I'm here. Hey guys, check out these little ones here. Well, I truly was sad to be leaving these emperor penguins behind, but hopefully one day in the future, I'll be back to see them again. We arrived back at the airplane, and what was to follow was possibly one of the most scenic flights imaginable as we cruised over the Antarctic ice shelf and icebergs. It really was an incredible way to end the day. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this adventure, and if you did, please be sure to check out the links to my work, which will be in the video description. It's been a pleasure, but for now, I'll hand you back to the Luxury Travel Expert. Thanks again.